Hello and welcome to our program. We would like to inform you again about current world events, today in a somewhat different light than usually heard. In the West, Michael Khodorkovsky is cheered and extolled as a hero of freedom and fighter for justice, who was taken to court and tried unjustly due to his critic of Putin and the Kremlin. But who is he really? Khodorkovsky, a Russian with Jewish roots, took advantage of the privileges of the communist youth organization Komsomol and rapidly became wealthy through dishonest exchange deals. 1990, he founded the Menetep Bank, whose major task was privatizing large state-owned enterprises and later administrating over $600 million from the Ministry of Finance. During an auction organized by the Menetep Bank, Kordovsky, who was the only bidder, bought the state oil company Yukos for a fragment of its actual value. Through this, he became the richest and most powerful man in Russia. His goal was to play the oil business into the hands of the Western Jewish financial elite. Putin, however, hindered the Rockefeller oil giant Exxon from taking over 40% of Yukos oil. Instead, Khodorkovsky was arrested because of massive fraud, money laundering and tax evasion. Due to his relationships to the most powerful people on earth and to various PR agencies, he is already a free man again and fit for new pranks. Here is a quote from Khodorkovsky from 1993 that should cause us to reflect. We do not want to hide the fact that we are inspired by wealth. Our goals are clear, our jobs assigned. We want to become millionaires. Our compass is profit, gain. Our idol is Her Majesty Capital. Ladies and gentlemen, keep following our report on current world news here from Studio St. Gallen in Switzerland as we bring background information to light concerning Iraq and Libya. Alexander Lukashenko, former president of White Russia, in an interview with the British BBC from October 9, 2012. Lukashenko reported, Before the war in Iraq, representatives from the USA came to me and asked me to publicly declare that Iraq so supposedly owns nuclear weapons. For this statement about Iraq, they offered to stop Western propaganda against white Russia, to initiate investments in white Res Russia, etc. I told them no. The journalist then asked, You mean Americans wanted you to lie about Iraq? Lukashenko answered, Yes, of course. But I answered the Americans then, I cannot do that because I know exactly that Iraq has no weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein was prepared to show the Americans every place in, in Iraq where supposedly nuclear weapons were being produced or stored. The same thing with Libya. Why did they bomb Libya? Why did Sarkozy join in? Well, Sarkozy is a Zionist and an ex-Mossad agent. What else could one expect? Do these statements shock you? Then let's not allow them to be swept under the carpet anymore. Let's do everything we can to spread such information that one doesn't otherwise hear and make sure the people hear it. This program helps, a platform for voice and counter-voice to be heard. Great that you joined us and see you again at the same time here at Klagemauer TV.